Hi, dear players! Welcome to the Eggy Workshop Tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make your own map. First, enter the playground and tap Eggy Workshop. Go to the map creation screen. Tap Create New Map in the lower left corner, and a new preset box will appear. Here are a few things we can do. First, you can modify the map name. This can help you quickly find the map you want to edit when you have many maps. Second, modify the map type. The race type allows eggs to be destroyed multiple times. Sand is a clearance type after reaching the finish line. The survival type only allows eggs to be destroyed once. Other types, including jelly bean maps, ball pushing, and color plate, all of which belong to team score and solo score. Third, choose the original form of the map. Blank map allows everyone to unleash their imagination. Random can be modified on the existing map, so you can choose according to your needs. Finally, click confirm to create the new map. Let's have a brief introduction to the map interface. Start with the top left corner. From left to right, the first gear is the basic operation settings of the map. The second one is for saving. Although the cloud automatically saves, it's always better to press the save button for extra security. The undo button allows you to go back to the previous step. If you have too many undo points, you can click on redo next to it. In the editor, there are buttons and text boxes. If you encounter difficulties in drawing, you can click on help to find answers. On the right side of the screen is the component bar. Here, you can select the components you want to use and drag them to the center editing area for editing. The advanced settings bar below the screen and the left toolbar will be explained in more detail in the upcoming video. When creating a map, there are also some things to note. First, the map must have respawn points. Without it, you won't be able to play or post the map. The number of respawn points is the maximum number of players that the map can contain. Secondly, in a race map, you can still play the game without a win zone, but you cannot publish it. This is because the map publishing conditions require the author to clear the map once. Third, map intensity. The map intensity is related to the craftsman points. Craftsman points are calculated based on map data such as the number of plays and likes. Only the top 5 maps data is considered. More intensity allows us to incorporate more ideas into a single map. So, how do you post a map when it's done? You can tap the settings button in the upper left corner and select post map. Please note that the creator must clear the map within the set time limit before posting the map. A nice thumbnail, a good profile and accurate tags can help other eggs find the map more quickly. Let's review what we've learned today. Alright, that's it for today's tutorial. Did you get everything? See you next time!